Hello Shopify enthusiasts, today let's delve into the powerful tool that can take your store customization to the next level, Meta Fields. I'm Steven and you're watching another Shopify tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll demystify Meta Fields and show you how to use them to add extra information to your products. So let's get started. First of all, understanding the Shopify Meta Fields. I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in this case so we can all get started with Shopify totally for free and having an extra reward just by signing up. So, before we jump now into the practical steps, let's understand what meta fields are and why they matter. So, meta fields, here I'm going to open a new tab and here I'm going to type meta fields in order for you guys to understand what exactly are meta fields. So, meta fields by Shopify sales helps to customize the functionality and appearances for your Shopify store by letting you save specialized information. This isn't usually uh, only for Shopify administrators, but there is much more elements. So how does the actual meta fields works? If you see here in this example of the meta field, the Shopify help center, you have the parts number, color swatches, launch dates, related products, blog posts, summaries, files for download, list of ingredients, and much more. Now, using the actual meta fields can help us with our products, our collections, customers, orders, and other parts of our store directly from your Shopify administrator. So usually here, we can edit the theme code or hire a manager to help us get started with the actual meta fields. Now, how can we get started to navigate the meta fields? Let's navigate through the Shopify dashboard and find the settings to manage meta fields for your products, for example. So I'm gonna go here into my store, you sign it in, you can see that we have the actual dashboard. So what you wanted to do is to focus into the left part of your products and let's focus into our first product, which is in this case, the Art Life Unisex Heavy Cotton Tea. So I click on it and as you can see, we have the information about the title, those description, the status of publishing, a few insights, product organization, media, variants, theme, templates, text, um, and so much more. So all of this actually is about the meta fields. So get ready to unlock a hidden world of product customization. Follow along, we will have you navigate meta fields like a pro. So adding to meta fields into your products. Let's put some stuff directly here into the meta fields. If you focus here, what it says, the search engine listing, you can see that we have go the edit section. And as you can see, we have a meta description, the page title, and the URL handle. This one is going to be helping us to figure out which or how we are getting found here into Google. So here, this is the way how it's going to be appearing. Adult life, unisex, heavy cotton tea. Let's say that I wanted to change the title of this since I check out, for example, my image. You can see they have the adult life, boss fight. But this is like a little funny so I, I can try to change this for example let's go for add all text later of course I don't want to do this right now now I'm gonna go here into uh, out of life let's go for bus level or boss fight level t-shirt this is the only important thing that needs to be check out here into my actual product so nobody knows anything about my store nobody knows anything about my product but somehow before they click into my product they know already what this is about adult life boss fight level um t-shirt so i try to add let's say for example like this so right now as you can see we have the meta description of what is this product the unisex heavy content is the basic sample of blah 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 so what i wanted to use is delete the elements that let's say they're not so important and later on i'm going to leave this like that now the url handle is exactly the same thing but it's going to be helping us a little bit more of how it's going to be appearing our actual product so i have the buy notes my shopify.com products let's go for um adult life uh, let's go for bus fight slash t-shirts create a url redirect for as you can see here it is so i hit now into save and here's my meta description being created so uh meta fields to your product seems to be adding more meta fields inputting more data and preview more changes for example 
Now into the meta fields, I'm going to add more product organization. For example, what is a product category? In this case, I'm going to be shirts and tops. The product type is the t-shirts. The vendor, in this case, is Printify because we're making print on demand. If you want a full tutorial of how we make the print on demand, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description. We have a lot of tutorials about that. Now here into the collections, I can get started in adding a new connection. Uh, later on, I'm going to do this into only home page. Now here into tax, as you can see, we have tax about women's clothing, men's clothing, regular fit, neck labels, DTG, unisex, t-shirts, crew neck, let's say gaming uh, design or gaming. Uh, you can add, for example, I don't know, maybe t-shirts. So try to be as descriptive as you can to add really great tags. All of this is going to be helping a lot, but truly, truly a lot when you when you are here into the Google search list engineer. So that's the reason why I wanted to get started with all of this information. Hit now into save. And now your meta fields of my product are going really, really great. Do exactly the same thing with all your new products. Speaking about the publishing, the product organization, the theme templates, the tags, um, adding variants, for example, the price, for example, the size, for example, uh, the color, all of that is uh, speaking about meta fields. And as we saw before, the search engine listing. Lastly, if you wanted to edit a few uh, meta fields into your store, directly not into the product, what you can do is to go here into my online store. And here into my online store, you see that we have the theme library. Inside the theme library, I'm going to go here and to customize. Inside here, you can see we have a lot of meta fields to enter. We have the template, there's the heading, the text, the button, image banner, and so much more. So we can start to customize our website in here, where I can go here into the theme settings. And inside here, we have a lot of stuff that we can edit. Speaking about the logo, the colors, the typography, the layout, uh, the variant peels, end posts, button, product cards, content, media, and so on and on and on. So all of this information is going to be really important, guys, for you to understand how it's going to be looking your product at the end of the day, the website. And when you type your store into Google, you should see how you are actually improving so far, if the meta field is working or not, and so on and on. So let's say that I go for buy nerd. Uh, here by nerd t-shirt and I'm gonna look for myself inside Google so as you can see we are not even in the very first page we are not even appearing in here that's the reason why I needed to work more into my CEO and into my meta fields of my store that's the reason why I wanted to get started with the actual meta fields so now guys now that you know everything about it well without you have it you have just mastered the art of using meta fields into Shopify wasn't that empowering well if you find this tutorial helpful please give us a thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell for more Shopify insight remember guys you have the link down below in the description so you can get started with Shopify. Your store is now equipped with a tool that opens up endless customization. Sometimes it might be taking up to a week to update all the stuff that we have done so far. Happy selling guys. See you on the next tutorial.